everyone, this is MCA now here. Welcome back to another Minecraft World review. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the base defense world or expansion. So this is the base defense. This is base defense, so yeah. In this chest, what I have here, we got we got trash, we got turrets we got vehicles and then we got gears and scraps so before we re review any of this like before we review any of those right here they are Let me go into survival real quick. You can craft these vehicles, by the way. You can craft the Jeep, the Mag, ATV, and the plane. That's the only thing y'all can craft. So, I believe we're missing it. Yeah, we're missing a Jeep right here. Alright. Because I don't see the Jeep in here so so here's the jeep these can be dropped by mobs and possibly the machine and also the turrets on here so You're f you'll first spawn here, but you'll have to go to like you have to go through a tutorial of how to do this. So, all right here, you can also craft the metal scrap. It gives you four every time you craft it. Here's the here's the crafting recipes for iron gear, gold gear, wrench, and metal scrap scrap of metal. So, yeah. And then you go to here, if you collect enough metal scrap, you then you go to here to shop at this area. There are some different turrets with different levels right here. So there's level one, two, and three. The max is level three. There are also a crafting recipe for, for those turrets. So. We got like a TNT cannon, crossbow tower, a mounted cannon, fireball cannon, slime launcher, poison launcher, firework launcher, snowball launcher, and looks like these are the traps. There's a snow trap, spike trap, bear trap, slime trap. And then there's this, there's an air bl blower, Tesla s storm, Tesla tower, TNT bot, and also here's the recipes for, yeah, like I said about the vehicles and the crafting recipes for the vehicles, there's that. You can either craft them or you can purchase them right here, so some of these towers may cost like differently depending on what turret you're getting so if I'm going too fast on this you can pause the video to see the price so okay for the traps they're cheap and okay the TNT ones are cheap the Tesla that If you want to buy any of this instead of crafting it, this is going to cost. So, this is what the scrap of metal for. So, so yeah. I'm going to go ahead and place a chest right here. Just separate that. So, 
before we get to any of the turrets and traps and stuff so let me make sure that I have all of I gotta make sure that there's all of the the stuff in here let's look like we're missing okay I'm missing the I don't know, I don't know. I was not prepared for this because there were a few missing items in that chest, so I wasn't prepared at all. So, <laughs> all right. There we go, that should be everything, so. Yeah, before we go to any of the tournaments and stuff, let's go ahead and check out the vehicles. So, here's the Jeep. Here's the mech. Here's the ATV. And here's a plane. Well, it's not really a plane, it's just... It's more like a jet than a plane right here, to be honest with you. Sort of look like a jet. So. And of course you can get in them and move around. And then you can press your sneak button. Tap sneak. Tap the sneak. You can get off just like... Okay, for the mag, it can actually fire. That's kind of helpful. You can actually drive these. Like, move around the, the jet, the jeep, the ATV, and also, you can actually fly this. Okay, for this, you're gonna have to use your right stick to go up and down. Up to put like your stick up. Pulling your stick up will go up. Pull, pulling your stick down, that goes down. So, so yeah, you just gotta use your right stick to control how high or how low you, you want to go. So. <clears throat> So yeah, that's for the vehicles, so, okay, let's, alright, let's get on with these first, we got a Tesla, Tesla tower, a mount, okay, these are mountain Anyways, so that should be yeah. There's the Tesla, and there's these TNT bots right here. So so yeah. And there, and where'd it go? Apparently the TNT bots can't move, can move. There's the air blower. So that's it for the, those, and then the mountain, mount turrets. Let's go on with the traps right here. So there was a bear trap, ice trap. Spike trap and slime trap. So, so yeah. Now on to the actual like towers and launchers and stuff. Here's the slime, snowball, crossbow, firework. Yeah, here's all these ones right here. So, so yeah. You can actually upgrade these by using by using the iron gear 
for level two. This is how you upgrade it to level two. Is by is by okay okay you can add, you can upgrade the mount turret as well to it, but the other ones like the traps and this and that won't work. And if you want to get to level three, you gotta use the gold one. Level two, you use the iron. Level three is the gold. So, so yeah. So yeah. All right. Oh, I'm missing another item. Oops. All right. If you, if for some reason, if you want to move your turret like somewhere, you just gotta left click it, and then it will drop this and the scraps. So, yeah, if you want to do this, if you want to, like, get rid of it and try, to like, moving it somewhere else, you got to use the wrench to, to break them. Well, it'll drop the metal scrap and the... Okay, something's going on over here. <laughs> All right. So yeah. So yeah. Let's go ahead and test out the turrets right here. So. All right. If I can find a mob, let's do let's do it with some husks. So. All right, let's go over here out of this, out of the base right here. Yeah, that's much better. All right. All right, the first turret is the slime turret. So, just to let you know, the first, as soon as you upgrade it to max, like, level right here, it'll increase the difficulty each time you upgrade it like as soon as you upgrade it to with the iron gear it'll increase like the damage and stuff gold gear same thing it'll be maxed out and you'll be able to do max damage so I'm gonna go ahead and max out the slime turret and let's go ahead and all right for the max one it'll slow them down That's for the max one. It it's a two shot. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, for the basic, like number one, it'll take like so many shots. On the basic like level, the level one version of this, it'll take a long time to, to kill the mob. As soon as you get to level two, it'll take like Okay, level 2 takes two shots, same as the level 3 one, so. Moving on to the snowball launcher. Now for the Now for the level 1 version. It'll just slow slow the enemy down. This one does not like it doesn't like really kill. It takes a, lo a lot of shots to kill a mob with the snowball launcher. So, whoop. wrong one. All right, now for the level two version. Okay, it takes two, and then here, here's this. Two shot. So, so yeah, the max upgrade of these turrets, the max level of it is probably better than having it like low. Here's the crossbow tower. If for some reason, if these take a little bit of damage, 
pick up like these metal scraps that the mobs drop or if you've got any metal scrap left you can repair these so all right here's the level two of this done better and then level three it'll also do better I think that's a two shot or a two shot burst or something I think that's what it was okay firework launcher this is the firework launcher so it's like a missile not really the best in you see you see right here see how it's damaged you can use the metal scrap to repair it if you got any spares you can just repair it so okay there's the level two of the firework launcher so it was shot it will shoot like two rockets at once so and on to the on to here it's three max level is three it'll shoot like three rockets so yeah and on to the fireball cannon so here's the level one version see how long it takes for it to kill a husk basically like a it's basically the same health as a normal player normal player player has but I may be wrong with that but it's kind of like the same health all right this one shoots two burst as you can see and then this one it'll shoot three or maybe not it'll sh only shoot two but this time they're really big fireballs right here so so there's that and then we got the poison cannon the poison so here's the here's the basic version I might have spawned it too close yeah don't let that happen to you by the way don't let any of these turns like break on you never okay we're gonna have to try again with this so all right let's try this again I didn't get how many sh shots were on that so don't ever like get it like broken down so okay that one okay the first level didn't do good on the first attempt it just broke second attempt yeah okay the second level was all right but the third level will probably go beast yeah and we got the TNT cannon all right it will shoot TNT okay that's a three hit and the next one should be at least a two or one hit knew it this should be a one hit oh on the second on the third level of this it it'll give you like two cannons it's a two and one tower that's what I like about the level three version of the TNT cannon is that it has an extra cannon in there just so okay we got the okay okay I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna have to go okay it's the jump button that's what it is okay that's the it's the jump button it's hard for me to control this okay it's kind of hard for me to control the mountain cannon right here so and I can't see very well yeah. 
And here's the level 2 version. Okay, this time I can see what I'm actually aiming at. I can actually... The level 1 version, it sucked because I couldn't barely see it. I couldn't barely see anything when I was trying to aim. I couldn't barely see, so... It, just, it got in my way. The level 1 version is probably not that good. So, okay, the level 2 done the job. And then level 3. I'm guessing it one shots everything. Yep. So that's it for the... That's it for all these. So let's get on with the traps. Okay, we got a bear trap, so... It'll trap the enemy in there. It'll trap the mob in there. Then it'll damage them. And for the ice trap, if I can... That mob will be frozen at a certain amount of time. And then the spike trap, it'll damage them. Some. So, and then the slime trap... Slime trap, it'll, okay, it'll launch them, apparently, so, so, yeah, here's that, and then the Tesla, and then the Tesla, it'll shoot electric at them. Alright, before we do the TNT bot, I might as well do, like, the air blower, so, It shoots air and it will it does damage them but but it won't do if there was a group in there so and now on to the TNT ones so these does explode towards them they'll just follow here I'll show it again as soon as you place these as soon as you place them they should go after the targets so, like, see right there? It'll go towards that target. And then it'll explode them, it will kill them, and then boom. So, that's basically one of the best defenses right here. So, yeah. Like, if he was to... Okay, maybe I should have not dropped all of those in there. So, whoops. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get all these back and I'm going to go ahead and plant a def I'm going to go ahead and just make it like a little tiny defense right here like at least like one tiny defense right here just for the fun of it. So So yeah. Okay, we got the TNT launchers, so Okay, let's just say this is like your base or something. And then you place these turrets there. And then... Hold on. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it with this block. Let's just say you made like a base like this. And then you got like TNT ones right there. And then you got like a couple fire cannons right there. And then the crossbow, or, hold on. Hold on, let me fix that. Crossbow right there, crossbow right there, and stuff. So, we got a crossbow, oh, we got a TNT cannon, we got a fireball cannon. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade these to the, let's go ahead and upgrade these to the max. I know some of them may not have room for all of it, so, okay, okay, it fits like a glove, somewhat, so, there we go, and then, hang on, let me go ahead and make,
Okay, for some reason I can't place a block right there, but that's alright. Let's just make... I'm gonna go ahead and make like a template of this. You got like these turrets at the front. You got a tur Or defending the sides. And then you get a turret right here. Here. And then the poison one here and here. At the back or the side. And then you have... A slime right here. A snow one right here. Two slimes right here. Two snowballs right here. So... It'll defend the back of it, so let me go ahead and indicate this. This is your front of the, this is your front door, this is your back, so, so yeah. And then you bring out a couple of these things right here. You bring out a couple of those out, out in the open a little bit, and then some at the side, and then two right there at the back, and then two at that side, then boom, right here. And then if you was to plant like something like out in the opening, out in the open, then Usually you can put a spike trap right there, spike trap there, spike trap there, spike trap there. I might be placing a couple more right there, so spike trap there. You can put like a couple of ice ones just to slow them down and stuff. Depending on how you want to plan it, plan your like defense right here of your base. So, And then you put like a couple of bear traps right here just to trap them and get them killed and stuff. And then... If there's like a certain point that you got your this is the TNT bots are your last line of defense. Usually my personal I usually personally do this, so but I can just put like a couple right here and then a couple right there and then a couple right here. And yeah. Okay, it does feel like there's some exploding action right here so so yeah and then the, yeah the ice trap the slime trap that kind of stuff and if you want you can put these tesla towers out in the opening just for like a just for extra defense right here the the launchers over there will be your last last defense right here your actual last defense on the line so so yeah and then yeah it'll be basically something like this I know this is not actually an actual base but I'm just demonstrating it just cuz if y'all was to like play around with this world and stuff so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in some zombies right here I'm gonna, I'm gonna surround this area like basically surround here okay I don't want to spawn too much because I do not want to end up lagging this world out and I'll lose all my footage of this so yeah don't want to don't make this world laggy right here so you see right here some may have been broken down but these turns were doing fine you got your back Okay, them turrets got down, so... There, there may be some turrets and some defenses, like, broken down and stuff, but... If you have, like, spare backups right here, go ahead and place them before they'll reach in and just... Yeah, do that. So... So, yeah. And there are also a certain cooldown on some of these turrets, so... Be aware of that. So... So, yeah. So yeah, that's the base defense right here. So, alrighty guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe if you're new to this channel. And I'll see you guys on another world review. Bye.